Outsiders, hello, Tony from the Outsider Channel. Here with you once again today, and uh, yeah, every week is a new video. It's another week, and uh, here you go. This one is one that I've been asked to do. One of the most commented requests. As you guys know, YT has come on board to sponsor the channel. With that, I have two bikes at my disposal, the YT Capper Elite and the brand new limited edition YT GFC Blaze. So what I'm gonna do in today's video is do a comparison, do a versus. And whichever bike I choose, the other one is getting destroyed in the junkyard. I've already rented out the junkyard. We're gonna do a whole separate video on that. And I'm gonna destroy this brand new bike right in front of all of you because I can. I'm just kidding, I would never do that. That's so ridiculous. Uh, it would be YouTube gold though, I bet, but I'm not a dick. I wanted to say before we get to the video, we are just about to hit 20,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. With that, I'm gonna do an AMA and ask me anything in the next week or two when we hit that. Who is your daddy? And what does it do? Post your comments below. I wanna to get to the questions. They can be bike related or non-bike related. I'm an open book. Ask away, whatever you wanna know. This is gonna be a versus video between the Jeff C and the Capra, yes. Uh, the component breakdown, I'm gonna to give to you right after the intro here. If you wanna skip that and get right to the action, go here. We're gonna head up to Sky Park after that, where we're gonna ride, and I'm bringing both bikes with me, and I'm gonna swap out bikes in between runs. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna meet back here, and I'm gonna give you my thoughts impressions going back to back on these two bikes. Now, let me say this also, this isn't for me to tell you which bike is better, it's me talking about what feels different and where the bike's strengths and or weaknesses are. If you're thinking about considering a trail versus enduro bike, this video is also good for that. I've talked enough, without further ado, I'm gonna throw you over to the other side, let's do the breakdown, let's get on the trails, and then I'll meet you back here. The YT Jeff C Blaze. This time around, YT are relying on the RockShox Lyric Ultimate RC2 fork in combination with the RockShox Super Deluxe Ultimate Shock. While the travel remains the same, both at 150 front and rear, you do get the increased range of a 10 to 52 tooth cassette on the SRAM GX 12 speed group set and SRAM's G2 RSC brakes. The modern all-mountain geometry in the carbon frame is available in sizes small to XXL and the two-tone silver colorway adds even more pop to your trail rides. Additionally, the TT Swiss M1900 spline wheelset and Maxxis Minion DHF and DHR2 tires will allow even more grip on the trail. This package also includes the YT Postman dropper post, the Rinthal Fat Bar 35 and Census Light grips. All this comes factory stock straight out of the box. The Capra Elite. Sharing the same carbon frame as the previous high-end model, the Capra 29 Pro Race, this newly released Capra now features a new stiffer Fox 38 fork with a 2021 Fox Flow XT factory shock, both with 170 millimeters of travel. The Elite's higher end spec also includes a SRAM X01 Eagle drivetrain with a 1052 cassette making for a larger range for better climbing. The cockpit holds the Renthal logo with an apex stem and 800 millimeter fat bar carbon handlebars, which I decided to chop down to 780, just personal preference. As for the brakes, we're looking at SRAM's code RSCs. The Elite's dropper post is a Fox Transfer Factory with 125 to 175 millimeters of stroke depending on the frame size. As for the tires, YT's gone with the Maxxis build this time around, with an Asagai XO 2.5 at the front and a Minion DHR2 2.4 with XO Plus in the rear. Rounding things out is an E13 LG1 Race Carbon wheel set, adding even more carbon bling to the build. Besides the awesome components, this slate color with gold pops really brings the entire bike to life. Jeff C and we got the Capra side by side. I'm gonna go with the Capra first because I haven't ridden this in about a month since I got the Jeff C. Thinking it's gonna feel very different. Let's head up. Gonna give Aero a test. Trails are a little bit muddy right now. Snow's melting up here up in the mountains. Lower arrow. Now it's interesting, I've been riding the Jeff for the last month or so. I haven't ridden this. And uh, I guess that's good for this video because I definitely noticed some changes going on. 
it's more bike obviously I want to say it pushes forward on its own more if that makes sense hopefully my tires are good here they're a little wet First time down this trail in a while. Some parts are perfect. And some got some pedals. Pedals. Puddles. Love that double. Solid warm up run on Aero. One really muddy Capra being put to rest for a second. Drawn brake. I think the Jesse got dirty just from looking at it because I thought that was clean. Yep, next. All right, first proper jump for the Jesse session jump let's do it grab this muddy ass Capra switched up bikes oh this thing I'm not hitting that right after you <laughs> Woo! Give the cap rolled. College try on the jump line. This baby wants to jump. Jesse on the jump line. Following Ryan. I met him on one of our Patreon group rides. Good guy, solid rider. And we're back. I've had some time to digest the day, digest the ride, and I like to do these types of videos right off the cuff so I don't have a list of things to kind of go through. I'm gonna give you my thoughts, impressions on these two bikes and these two categories. So here we go. Right off the bat, like I said in the video, I had been off the capper for about a month and switching over to the Jeff C initially, it felt very different. The Jeff C trail bike is a little bit more upfront, the cockpit's a little bit tighter. The Capra is definitely a little bit more elongated and stretched out. The Capra wants to eat the chunk. I've said this before in a previous video, but it does. It wants to go down, it wants to go fast, and it just wants to lead the way for you. It almost feels like you're on a horse. Honestly, this sounds crazy, but like the bike is designed to go and shred downhill. That's its priority. But with a caveat here, with the drivetrain that comes equipped on this bike, it doesn't make pedaling difficult. I would say I definitely notice a difference between the Capra and the Jeff C pedaling. The Jeff C as a trail bike is prioritizing this, the descent as well as the climb. The lockout on the Jeff C I think is a little bit more firm than the Capra, but once you switch those things into descent mode, let me get into the Jeff C here, the Jeff C feels a little bit more playful. I, it's gonna be hard for me to, to say this because I don't want to end this video on which bike I prefer. I would say, which bike do I prefer for the conditions I'm riding that day? And it's amazing to have these two options. Not to go off on a tangent here, but I wanna get this question figured out as well. Ryan, who was on this ride today, asked me if I had a trail bike, would I invest in an enduro bike, not in place of it, but as two separate categories, like have two bikes. And my first 
response was like, okay, how much money do you have? If that's money is no option, sure, why not have two bikes? But uh, they're hard to find right now, obviously. Bikes are very limited and uh, they're very expensive. So I would say for me, if I had to pick just one, because of where I live and the trails I ride on a regular basis, I would probably choose the Jeffsy because it's a trail motivated bike. I climb a lot here in Southern California. Some of these climbs are an hour before I get to the descents. And if I'm looking for a well-balanced bike that's prioritizing the climbs as well as the descents, the trail bike and the Jeffsy fit that perfectly. This capper is gonna be my best friend up at the bike parks for this next coming season. I can't wait to get this thing at Snow Summit. I can't wait to get this thing on some raw chunk. It's gonna be my buddy throughout the entire bike park, park season coming up. Uh, I'm gonna bring the Jeffsy up and, and give that a go on the bike parks as well. As you guys remember, I had a Jeffsy to start out on the channel and I was bringing it up to the bike parks. It was fine, it was totally fine. You can bring the Jeffsy up there too, but I'm just talking about very specific differences here. That's it. If you have an idea of where you wanna go with your bike riding, and if you're prioritizing an enduro machine that you are gonna see yourself really getting a use out of, then go for the Capra. But if you're not gonna be using that 170 Travel or an enduro bike in a way where you're gonna feel like you're maybe overbiked a lot of the time, you know? Like the Jeffsy could fit perfectly into that category and do just fine. I've been taking this thing out on some really fun local descents from green trails to double blacks, and the Jeffsy is just killing it. Trail versus Enduro, hope I did an all right job here off the cuff. Gave you guys a little bit of a presentation to my bikes going into the future of the channel. Leave your comments below for the Ask Me Anything that's gonna be coming up. I get to every single one of those comments regardless. I'll answer and respond to all of you. Thanks so much for tuning in. New videos every single week. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, stick around, because I'm not going anywhere and you shouldn't either. Join me on Patreon where all your dreams come true. That's not really true. We're doing group rides and giveaways and early video releases just further supporting the channel and gets me on the road and puts the uh, extra change in the tin can for me to put into the gas tank. Tony from the Outsider Channel, I'll see you guys next week.